All right, so let's have a lesson here on how to use Kodi with uh, the Fire Stick or the Fire TV. First, take a look at the remote control so that you understand uh, what I'm pressing while I'm while I'm moving around here. Um, so this is our directional pad, and if you press in the middle of the directional pad, that's what I call select. Okay, uh, I will often use the back button here. And then this button with the three lines is what I call the options button. Now these other buttons do work, but they only work with the Amazon Fire Stick. So if you hit home, it's not going to take you to the home of Cody. It's going to take you to the home of, of Amazon. So we don't press that at all, really. Okay, so having said that, let's go ahead and take a look now. That's what the home screen of the Amazon Fire Stick looks like. Uh, all those apps like, like Netflix and Showtime and all that, those are all available for you to use uh, if you want to put in your login and stuff. But to be honest, all the content that they have is already in Kodi. All right. So let's go ahead and let's access Kodi because it's not on the home screen. I understand it's not convenient, but that's just how these things go. So you see home highlighted on the left there. You want to scroll all the way down to settings, okay? Then you want to scroll to the right where it says applications. Select. Go all the way down to where it says manage installed applications. Select. And let's go ahead and find Kodi and we're going to launch it. There's Kodi. Pause right here for a second. Do not clear data or you will erase everything. You can go ahead and clear cache if you'd like, but there's also a way to do that within Kodi. So launch by selecting. And here's the startup screen. Okay, you see how music is highlighted blue? All right, you gotta follow that thing around while I'm talking. So all the fun happens in videos, okay? And we clean up in programs so here's videos first we go and we clean up in programs all right we'll come back to this one later okay what you would call channels Cody calls add-ons right? so down here the bottom five uh, those five squares at the bottom those are my five favorite and most useful add-ons okay Exodus one channel VidTime and Phoenix all have movies and TV shows. They're just organized a little bit differently, okay? Exodus used to be called Genesis. It's probably one of the oldest and most useful add-ons there is. Uh, just a quick look, right? You got movies and TV shows at the top. So I'll try movies. Okay. You got all those different subheadings for movies. A lot of people like to check out in theaters right. so we're looking at these movies right here uh, let's see all those there all those there so like say you want to watch Zootopia you go ahead and select and it's going to generate a list of sources uh, these are all sources from the internet you know, some get taken down and they don't work, but you just keep looking until you find a source that does work, right? Still generating the list. All right, so look. There's all your sources and there's more, more, more if you scroll down. To the very right of each list says the word cam. That lets you know that it was filmed in the theater. Sometimes the quality isn't that good. But I'll just go ahead and try the first one, select. Okay. If it's gonna work, the little play triangle is gonna show up in the bottom left corner like it just did. And there you go, okay. This one was filmed in the theater. I, I, my my camera is not quite focusing on it, but it's actually pretty decent quality. I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. So the way to stop a movie, hit the center, the select. Okay, then that little menu will come up. Go over to stop. Boom. 
and you're out. Okay, let me go ahead and back out to the video screen again. All right, Sports Devil. Great sports app, all games, all sports, pay-per-views mixed in. I'll give you a look at what it looks like. Okay, so I like, uh, we go to live sports. My favorite sources, and these are all sources here. The first one, ADHDTV.net or whatever. And then down here in the L's, I like Live TV Roo and LSH Hunter. Okay, let me go to the first one again. Select. Okay. The game, first you see a list of channels. But then right down here, you start to see the games. And they're organized by the time that they start. So... Let's pick one that we know has already started. These look like they're all like uh, soccer games, right? Most of this stuff, most of these feeds come from Europe, so there's a shit ton of soccer on here. Uh, let's see what else we got. Pittsburgh Pirates Twins. Let's see if that's available for us. We hit select. It's working. It's working. Sometimes. There it goes. All right. Let's see. So, boom. You got your baseball game. Commercial break is in progress. Uh, let's hang on here until it comes back in. All right. Long commercial. You stop live TV the same way that you stop a movie. Uh, you'll see me, well, I'll hit the select which is in the center of the directional circle the directional pad okay, let's keep waiting here commercial break commercial break anyway so I'm gonna hit the center select okay and that comes up that screen comes up again that little options down at the bottom go ahead and highlight stop okay, and we will stop because I'm not gonna wait for this to come out of commercial break alright so that's sports double BitTime and Phoenix are made by the same group, pretty much. They uh, organize their content in their own way. So you got movies and TV shows at the top. USA right now. USA TV right now are live feeds from the US, like TV. Uh, if you go down to Perch Picks, this guy named Woody, he puts up all these games. So all these hockey games right here. That guy loves hockey. Keep scrolling down, and you'll see all the baseball games. Great stuff. Then you scroll down even further. Oh, look, there's all the March Madness. Boom. Hello. And then you scroll down even further, and there's live TV. All right, I'm going to go ahead and back out now. So those are just my five favorites. If you go ahead and highlight right under videos where it says add-ons, select this is a list of all of the add-ons and you're just going to have to play around with this yourself and see which ones you like I'm backing out here now okay I said earlier you're gonna need to clean up in programs so here's programs about once a week I suggest you go in and you clear out any cache any memory uh, because these things do have rather small memories and it might slow down if you start to get uh, start to build up too much so at any rate where it says raw maintenance, that's where I go to clean up. Select. You got three options there. You want to choose maintenance. Select. And then you want to do all three of these right here. Clear cache. Seven files found. Let's delete them. Okay. Perch packages. No packages found, so we don't need to delete. And then thumbnails. And after you delete thumbnails, it's going to give you an extra message here that says, please restart Cody. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to shut this down properly. Instead of just changing the TV to a different uh, input or something like that, or unplugging it, uh, go ahead and go down here, highlight down here where you got the little on and off icon. There it is. Hit it once, hit it twice, and just wait. Alright, hope that was easy and thorough. Enjoy.